Yeah, I mean, you know, Jalen missed, um, you know, really four games in the first part of the season. So we'll look pretty similar to that. Van Ginkle, you know, Og, and uh, we'll see if uh, JPP can get up to snuff. Yeah, we could still play Gank inside some, and you know, put uh, Ogba outside some, and um, and even Cam Good or JPP if he comes along. Um, but yeah, he'll be in there less. Well, he's going to have to if he's called upon. Um, haven't seen him play defense in a while, you know, so uh, I don't have a great answer for you. Yeah, Jalen is a great player, make no mistake about it. And um, when he missed those games early in the year, um, took him a game or two to get back rolling to be his normal self. But this last month or so, he's been playing great for us. And um, we're going to miss him. And yeah, he's a part of us playing the run and, and obviously playing the pass with him, rushing the passer. So we're going to miss him tremendously. And yeah, he, he was a big part of that. All of the above. All of the above. You love those all of the above answers. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Yes, for sure. If you're in a crowd, you know, if you're in a crowd where every, you know, you got three, four guys jumping up at the same time in the end zone, yes. You know, the play the other day, there was nobody around Javon, you know, definitely catch it. So that play was acceptable in your eyes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very acceptable. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I've been around too long for those worries. Um, it's just, uh, you know, guys getting rewarded for working hard and both understanding what we're doing and practicing hard and being ready physically. You know, now the challenge is can we keep that up without uh, Phillips? They're, they're bigger, those other two guys. Um, Gink's a little sl slipperier and plays with that, but yet he can be stout when needed to be. So they're, they're different styles, for sure. Yeah, I think it you know starts with Mike, that's his approach, and he uh, wants that, instigates it, and the players follow that lead, and you don't have to give players lead to have fun, you know? And, um, and obviously, as you said, winning helps. You know, winning's cured more reels than penicillin. But yes, it is. These guys have fun, but yet they're working hard at it. Uh, no, I mean, just different type of fun. It's been good, you know. He's he is that, and but yet he's a ball coach deep down, and uh, that's just his style. You do want size on the edge, uh, for sure. You want to play big on the edge. You know, there's some guys that are only in the mid 40s low 50s that play big on the edge so you know so obviously if you're bigger that helps but there are some guys in the 40s to low 50s that do play big and strong and but it's very important I, I didn't, didn't. Um, I, didn't. Right, I, I said I didn't oh, I'm sorry. yeah uh, you know our scouts did Chris did um, Ryan did after we signed him so um, you know, at this part, point in the season, you know, we're going to try and focus him on the nickel stuff and not much on the base stuff to take that off his plate. And, you know, I think he can get there fairly quickly um, with just the nickel stuff. Um, you know, first off, Christian's a good player. You know, he's quick, he's athletic, um, he's sudden. And yet he can be strong when he needs to be. Um, you know, I don't know the answer to that because I wasn't here previously. But um, I think he's a guy that should be, uh, you know, eight, nine sack guy a year. Well, in base, they'll drop some. And in nickel, they hardly ever drop. Yeah, he's been impressive on tape. Um, good passer, can make all the throws. Um, his scrambling and running ability is really worrisome for us. And um, he's a good runner when he's scrambling. And, you know, he's hurt people that way. And, you know, we got to be mindful of that playing against them. But I think he's done a really nice job. 
Um, yeah, a little bit. I don't like the word cheat the scheme, but uh, yeah, N no. Um, I always say this, you know, you don't want players that do nothing of what you tell them to do, and you don't want players that only do what you tell them to do. Okay, so there's a time and a place for instincts and play recognition and using tools out there to help your play.